I'm sure you haven't even stepped foot in a free range egg barn. You've got your own few little uh, hens out the back that you go, oh look, I've got these hens. Anecdotes, character attack. Farmers are working hard to feed the nation affordably and sustainably. Go and buy a free range egg, they're fantastic. Free range eggs are a scam. And, and Gareth, if you want to stand by the free range egg industry, do it and see what happens when all of the footage is released to show the abject suffering and cruelty that happens in this industry. And uh, I don't know how you can defend it unless you're just a spokesperson for the industry, which we all know you are. <laughs> They're very tasty, nutritious, and a part of a balanced diet. It's just deluded. Now it's time for a bit of a gear change this morning because it is that day of the year that we might all have marked in our calendars, we certainly do, it's World Egg Day. It's upon us today. Tom, what's your favourite way to have eggs in the morning? Do you know what? I've, I've been thinking about this. Oh, right. I'm a big fan of egg and soldiers. I'm a yeah. big fan of fried eggs, uh -huh. sunny side up. Uh -huh. um, Pro and, American. <laughs> and, and, and here's a curveball, Spanish omelette. I like a Spanish, Spanish omelette. Spanish omelette, far superior to any other nation's omelette. Yeah, uh, you're going to ask me what my favourite egg is? What, what, what is your favourite egg, Ellie? Glad you asked. Um, <laughs> it's a, a nice runny scrambled egg, actually, which is a little runny bit... Runny scrambled egg? Yeah. It's what you need with a, to eat with a spoon? Almost, yeah. It's a Gordon Ramsay egg. So you just let the eggs speak for themselves. You take them off the heat, you stir... And it's a little salt and pepper. Ellie, we, could, we could not be more different. I went for the most solid egg imaginable, a Spanish omelette, and you went for the most runny. I know, but then... That's no, chalk no. and cheese. Your weakness is my strength. <laughs> your weakness. Uh, but yes, it is World Egg Day today, and for many, it's a day to celebrate a staple of the great British breakfast. But for those who embrace a vegan diet, they condemn the humble egg due to its animal origins. Well, debating this now is the farmer Gareth Jones and animal rights activist Joey Carbstrong. Um, uh, let's start with you, Joey. Um, what's wrong with an egg? <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, uh, eggs are an in interesting one because a lot of the cruelty and suffering is actually hidden in the egg-laying barns or the parent breeder sheds or in the hatcheries where they start at the hatcheries. They come from a parent breeder shed. These are the egg layers. They get hatched and the males and the females hatch out of the eggs. The males are useless to the egg industry, so they'll be either gassed to death or put in industrial blenders on their first day of life fully conscious. This happens for free range as well. The female chicks go off to egg laying barns where they've been selectively bred to produce around 30 times more eggs than their ancestor, the red jungle fowl. This increased laying, this is one of the worst things about the egg industry, free range, organic, all of this is the same. The increased laying output puts enormous strain on their bodies. They lose calcium, nutrients, lose their feathers, become egg bound, suffer painful prolapses. I've seen these, investigated these myself, and many end up suffering on the floor where the other birds peck them to death. And these conditions are rampant in free range RSPCA assured systems as well. Free range eggs are a scam. They can house up to 16,000 birds in a barn. Some house 30, 32,000 and they put a dividing wall down the middle to meet an RSPCA stocking density standard. These are factory mega farms, these free range eggs in the UK. 55% of eggs in the UK come from free range, but what they're doing is they're displacing the caged hens to free range and creating another demand problem. And th these birds, what happens at the end of their life, 18 months, around 18 months, they're all in horrible condition and they get grabbed by, by catchers, they throw them into crates, break their brittle bones, and send them to a gas chamber to be killed, or non-stun halal slaughter, to have their throat slashed. And this is all for an egg on your toast. Uh, I think it's completely unjustifiable. OK, Gareth Jones, I can see you're quite ticked off with that. Uh, but Joey, Joey's saying that it's not ethical. There's a strain on animals, no such thing as free range. What do you say to that? Well, I've just been to let my free-range chickens out and they wouldn't come out of the shed. I wonder why. Because it's raining and chickens don't want to go out in the rain. They've just had a lovely feed. I've just collected the eggs. They're happy as Larry. They love it. You know, we have 20-odd birds here that produce enough eggs for us as a family. That's sustainable. That's what it's all about. You know what? Affordable food comes at a price. And Joey, you know, little Joey, honestly, always makes me laugh because he comes out with these massive, massive stories. But the majority of the people in the UK will be eating eggs every morning, every evening, and every night. He's a small, small minority. And do you know what? He's not even growing any of his own food. He's eating processed rubbish, traveling around takeaways, trying to bring down 
the livestock industry. You know, you that's a character attack. Why don't you eggs. focus on the point? No, that's attack. a ga- that's complete Listen. character attack. You're using anecdotes. I've got these egg egg layers in. Statistically, look at the statistics. I don't, I'm sure you haven't even stepped foot in a free range egg barn. You've got your own few little uh, hens out of the back, yeah, and you go, "Oh, look, I've, I've got these hens." Anecdotes, character I'm, attacks. I've just, focus I've on the issue. BBC. I've just done an S4C program, okay, where we went on to a fantastic, brilliant free range One. egg farm. One. Where they were feeding. No, oh, listen, there's hundreds of them. There's hundreds of them. You, you, have you and how many have you been in? How many farm, have you been mate. in? You just want to. Look, you're not even. You're a sheep finish. farmer. How many you have you been in? You, Gareth, I, if you stop there and just let Joey come back to you there. Joey. Okay. Well, uh, look, look, Gareth is a sheep farmer. He's a, a mouthpiece for the industry. He has vested interest in this industry. He t- looks after the interests of all his farming friends. The egg industry does not value the interests of the animals. They are a product and they use these free range marketing to hoodwink good people like you, you two hosts who don't have any clue about what goes on. We're investigators, we see it on the ground. If Gareth knows what happens in the egg industry and he's still being a lying mouthpiece for the industry, then that's on his moral uh, compass, that's on him. Now, I know exactly what happens, we've seen it, I've seen it myself. Oh, I'm very sorry that we've just, we, we're going to get Joey Carbstrong back, but we do still have Gareth Jones here. And, and, and Gareth, Joey says you're just a mouthpiece for the industry. What do you say to that? Oh, honestly, the guy does make me laugh. You know, he can't, he can't even keep a conversation going. He's, he's put himself off. Look, let's be honest with it. The majority of the people in the UK want affordable food. Farmers are here to produce food for the mass majority of people. And that's what we do. Go and buy a free range egg. They're fantastic. We sell our little eggs, what we've got left as butt nuggets at the bottom of our road in an honesty box. People will come from all over the place to try them. Farmers are working hard to feed the nation affordably and sustainably. This guy is just out there to try and change an ethos because he's got his own problems and he just cannot understand that people have a right to eat what they want and he just can't live with it. And as of what about the animals' there, rights? Do you grow, care about the animals' rights, Gareth? He doesn't grow an iota okay. of his own food. Let's not forget. He's not growing anything. I'm a farmer. I grow my own veg. And let me tell you something. There'll be more creatures dying for me to put my veg on my plate than any of my meats. Right. This guy will never tell you that because he lives in cloud cuckoo land. He's never grown anything. He doesn't understand the farming industry. And the majority of the food that he'll be eating will be coming from a processed factory. And that's just fact. Joey, back to you. Um, yeah, I had a bit of technical issues there, but I'm sure Gareth just went, oh, my farm, uh, my farm's my friend's farm. I've got three hens out the back and Joey, uh, what does he say? Joey eats processed food. I mean, it looks as though just lost Gareth there. So I'll tell you, Joey, what Gareth was saying. He was saying that more, uh, more animals die as a result of getting your vegetables on your plate. That Uh, it's uh, processed food that you are eating uh, and you don't understand the farming industry. What do you say to that? Well, I have a very deep understanding of the farming industry, which is why I'm so passionate and, and about it. And Gareth uses anecdotes and not statistics, and he doesn't go into these farms and investigate them himself. Now, the, the claim that more animals are dying uh, because of uh, crop production or crop protection is an abject lie, and uh, he doesn't have any data to back it up. He's just making baseless claims. Now, it takes on average 10 times more crop calories to, to produce the same amount of calories from animal products and 40% of the arable land in the UK is used to grow feed for livestock. They grow, they grow crops to feed to animals. They harvest crops to feed to dairy cows and to egg laying hens. This is about the egg industry here. Now, a lot of these crop deaths are not deliberate. They combine ac- accidents, which is not a deliberate rights violation or their crop protection. Crop protection is required to prevent global starvation. Now, not everyone can have a, a, a house that was passed down to them to have their Welsh lamb on there and to have a, a little plot of land out the back, which Gareth, Gareth sits there with a, uh, a gun shooting rabbits because he eats the rabbits. Now, he claimed uh, th- this is just an appeal to hypocrisy. Focus on the point of what I'm saying. Free range eggs are a scam. And, and Gareth, if you want to stand by the free range egg industry, do it and see what happens when all of the footage is released to show the abject suffering and cruelty that happens in this industry. And uh, I don't know how you can defend it unless you're just a spokesperson for the industry, which we all know you are. Gareth, are free range eggs a scam? <laughs> no, they're very tasty, nutritious, and a part of a balanced diet. 
Um, yeah, he's just deluded, you know, and you're going to get good, bad and ugly in every industry and there's going to be a few bad eggs like everything else. We've got one sitting next to me there. But let, let's be, let's be, you know, due diligence and let's make sure that the British public are getting good food on their plates. And an egg is one of the most nutritious things you'll get. You know, if you want to be no, big and strong and healthy, get your protein in, get proper food in you. You know, look for seasonal food, look for food that's produced on grass. My 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 chickens are having our own grain. We've got our own grass out there. They're out there eating insects. They're having a lovely life. And, you know, the eggs taste exactly how they should be. And this is how we should be going forward. You know, let, let's see Joey growing some of his own food. Let's see Joey out Can in I field. interject? Let's see him getting well, a little Ottoman. He's not going to do that. He's going to sit in his ivory tower, wherever he is, and he's going to go around trying to slate people. And some people you, can't afford... Can I interject, please? You know, some of the well, gentlemen, gentlemen, we started with Joey. We're going to end with Gareth. I'm afraid we've run out of time, but I hope that you both feel you've got equal time here to put across your cases, as you have well, done, in a spirited way. Thank you both, gentlemen. Yeah, passionate debate on both sides there. What do you think at home? GBviews at gbnews.com. Yeah, so uh, Gareth Wynne-Jones, uh, I don't grow my own food. I don't um, have three birds out the back, which he said they won't go outside. Then he said that they are... Uh, they're actually on the grass and he doesn't have a clue about the egg industry if he thinks these birds are on the grass. They can't even make their way outside because their stocking density is too high. The birds protect, um, they're very territorial. They don't let each other go outside and with bird flu, they leave them all inside anyway. Uh, Gareth has no idea about the egg industry. It, it shows, all he keeps saying is I've got, look at, my, look at my garden, look at my birds. I've got 20 birds here that give us eggs. Like what's that got to do with the egg industry? And he said that, that eggs are nutritious, they're not actually nutritious. They're less nutritious than tofu per 100 calories, which is interesting, and contain twice the saturated fat, less protein than tofu as well. So I don't know what he means, like, it's like this nutritional powerhouse, it's actually not as nutritious as tofu per 100 calories. Um, it also, um, about an egg a day, starts to, you start to see uh, definite risk, health risk. So about an egg a day is consistently shown to increase risk of cardiovascular disease. Thank you, Dr. Matthew Nagra, for those facts. But uh, yeah, again, Gareth is, uh, just incredible laughing stock, in my opinion. Um, I just can't believe that they... Well, I, I think he got more time than me then, actually. Definitely. Um, but uh, he, he's completely out, outmatched. He doesn't have any facts or statistics to back him up. 